Today we are going to be fixing up an abscess on a dairy cow. She had a slight limp as she came into the chute, so I knew that I'd find something on this foot. You can see right away, just after the first small incision, all this pressure that's being released. Whenever I see something like that, it usually means that a good chunk of that horn needs to be removed. Now I'm just going to clean up between the toes a little bit before I start putting the block on. Now I want to get the rubber block on right away so that the glue has time to dry as I work on that bad claw. The tool I'm using here is called a rasp and what that does is it roughs up that claw so that the glue has something to stick on. This block is going to work just like a crutch and take most of that weight off that bad claw. This block will usually wear down or fall off within a month or so which is plenty of time to heal up that bad claw. Now that the block's on, we can start working on that bad claw. I'm trying to go slow and smooth not to cause the count any further discomfort or pain. As I pick away this loose horn, it seems to open up and go all the way down to the toe. It's important to remove any loose or unattached horn from the sole so that new horn can grow in and so that the lesion can dry out. This problem is usually caused from standing too long or too long of walks to the parlor and causes her sole to bruise from the inside out. You can see as I pick away here that I'm not causing her much pain and she seems to be taking this very well. This is a fairly common problem to see in dairy cows and a lot of farmers are doing everything they can to reduce this by providing comfortable bedding to encourage them to lay down and get off their feet and some farmers are even putting rubber mats in areas where they stand or walk too much. As I cut to the outer part of the wall there, it's a little bit harder of hoof so it doesn't cut away as nice. I know this looks painful, but she needs this done so that she can start healing properly. I can't stress this enough, everything that I'm doing here is for the cow's benefit so that she can heal up right and live a longer and healthier life. These animals do a lot for us, so the least I can do is help them walk comfortably. I cleaned out the wound with antibacterial solution, then she gets gauze with iodine and some cotton for some comfort, and then some salicylic acid which works like aspirin for pain relief. This wrap will stay on one to two days until the farmer takes it off. If you haven't already, please swipe left and follow me to stay up to date on future videos. Thank you.